First of all, do you believe we need to go to Mars? And oh. if so, why? Of course. I've been collecting reasons for the last 40 years. I mean, it's not only the science and possible return on investment, but it's exploration. I mean, great civilizations explore. And then, as Elon said, this could be a hedge against a future catastrophe. So do you believe that we could face an extinction event here on Earth and that we need to go to Mars to survive? Well, the, the dinosaurs needed a space program, right? So. Uh, it could happen to us, although personally I'm more interested in the science we could do if we get people to Mars. Francois, what are your thoughts on this? And what do you, what do you make of Musk's idea that it'll be easier to set up a city there than to just set up going back and forth? Um, no, it, it's a very good point. Um, and I'm sure at some point, uh, yeah, we'll have a, a city on Mars. Um, and uh, beside Elon Musk and SpaceX, there's already uh, uh, a, a good dozen of startups working on the enabling technology that uh, will facilitate the, the building of that city. So it, it makes completely sense, of course. Scott, the plan that Musk laid out, do you see any holes in it or does this look like it could work? Well, there's nothing in there that's dilithium crystals or uh, the transporter beam. It's all, in principle, plausible in pieces, but it's of a scale that nobody has ever attempted before. He's talking about a rocket that's four times the thrust of the Saturn V. So will it scale up? Uh, who knows? But I wouldn't bet against Elon. He's been successful. Do you see NASA being a partner here of sorts? I mean, NASA obviously has a completely different view of why we need to get there, you know, more for exploration, a manned mm -hmm. mission in the future. Uh, Musk is going for an all-out civilization. Right. No, I think that this is a, extremely important, and I think that it would be a public-private partnership and maybe an international partnership as well. Uh, I don't see this as being just the U.S. and SpaceX. So, Francois, talk to us about the funding of this. Obviously, it's going to be extremely expensive. You know, by traditional or conventional means, it costs $10 billion a person uh, to get out there. But Elon Musk wants to drop that to $200,000 a person. What do you think about his proposal to investors? So I think that uh, it's, it's going to be a, a multi-step uh, business plan. And as uh, we can compare that mission with the uh, International Space Station, it, it got funded even if at, at the beginning uh, it was only making sense for uh, research purposes. Um, as soon as uh, there will be a couple of people on, on March, uh, maybe we will find some uh, interesting uh, uh, new, new type of materials or new property that uh, uh, maybe for, for, for large corporates, uh, for large corporates, it would make sense to uh, invest and put a, a, labor, a laboratory or a, a research center on Mars. And so they could then participate in the funding of, uh, of the, the next step and uh, the next stage and then um, in, in the 10 to 20 years when uh, we'll have improved the, uh, the engines and reduced the cost to a, a week and a couple of uh, thousands um, and hundred um, uh, of dollars to, to go there. Um, yeah, that will be uh, another business case for um, uh, more people like us to go there. Um, so uh, it will take time, but uh, I, I will see that more in a step-by-step -step approach like we see for the, the startup that we are uh, investing in or, or, or supporting, yes.